Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and much good depending on your location. News update. Force gallantry, Nigerian army relapse into the Stone Age era. That's according to Inter Society. Yes, the International Society for Civil Liberty. Inter Society. Saying, Nigerian military, see, look, they have relapsed into the medieval era. That's by dishing out inconsistent figures. Of course, on December 29, 2023, the Defense Headquarters Abuja had announced that the military doing various operations across the country in 2023 killed a total of 6,886, including 464 in the southeast. They called them terrorists and other suspected criminals. Now, the Defense Director, talking about uh, Major General Buba Edward, disclosed this in Abuja while he was briefing journalists, and he said, look, the activities of the troops across the country in 2023 made sure that a total of 6,970 suspects were arrested and 4,488 suspects kidnapped citizens were rescued across the country. Yes. Now, Ento society is saying, look, that this is not true. It's a false gallantry. Look at the statement of the society. And they said to observe that in his killing, 6,880 terrorists, including 464 in the southeast, and they are arresting 6,970 other terrorists. The Nigerian military deliberately generalized by labeling the slain as terrorists from across the country as six geopolitical zones, including southeast where it claimed to have. Neutralized 464 in 2023, meaning killed. The military statement had presently failed to categorize the number of slain citizens who arrested others involved in terrorism as statutorily defined and those involved in street criminalities, including statutory liability offenses, if any. Miss Demanios and felonies also are statutorily defined. The military statement also failed to give a breakdown of the number and whereabouts of those arrested, including whether they are still alive or have been tortured, including shot and wounded or starved to death. The statement did not disclose further under what circumstances the neutralized got killed, when and where they were killed, whereabouts of the slain bodies and whether their families or lawyers, if any, we are duly informed, as a totally laid out. No mention was also made regarding the number of the 6,970 arrested terrorists undergoing court trials or facing prosecution by which department. Intercept also makes bold to say that the military's claims of killing 464 Southeasterners in 2023 a failed attempt at forced gallantry has ended up exposing and confirming our deepest fears and suspicions over indiscriminate killing or abduction and permanent disappearance of several hundreds of unarmed Southeasterners by the military and other security agencies, including police, crack squads, and DSS. This is to the extent that not less than 1,000 of them are nowhere to be found, and they just ended. 2022, including Ndefo Felix and his Chuku Odo Fred, Chuku Karafel, Ike Nachi Boise, Hyacinth Ugweke, Ozioma, Osita Udenze, Magnus Nabuike, Chijoke Ale, Christopher Nenje, Njenje, Emeka Okonkwo, Livinus Ebo, Okeku Chenna, Obu Michael, Mweke Chuku Emeka, Obieze Go Chuku, Chigoze Ohem, Chiso Mwezo, Ike Chukoko, Chinedu Odenebo, Chinedu Obia, Chijoke Obama, Ogo Chuku Mweke Uchenna Oganama, and Emmanuel Obinani, abducted and disappeared from Anambra State alone. Placed in logic and critical thinking, the 464 neutralized Southeastern Southeasternists 
in 2023, in quote, by the military, is most likely correct to be the military's casualty figure sampling from the southeast. In other words, the mostly unarmed citizens' military's high death toll in the southeast in 2023 is most likely to be more than three times or over 1,600. If the number of those killed outside the law by police crash force and those abducted and disappeared by the military, the DSS and the police crash force is added. Strongly and unreservedly, condemned is the Nigerian military DSS and police use of the genocidal word neutralize. This is not only another attempt at first gallantry, but also a speedy relapse to the abyss of the Stone Age defense and security operations and their modus operandi. We had expected the Nigerian military to knowledgeably give Nigerians the statistical and factual breakdown of its internal security operations strictly within the comforts of its constitutional, statutory, and operationally defined mandates and limitations here too. Such internationally standardized policy and statistics expected of the Nigerian military in the instant case include the number of citizens arrested and handed over to the police over the involvement in street criminalities, that is, armed robbery, abduction for ransom, solid mineral theft, arson, burglary, housebreaking, vandalism, cyber crimes, political robbery, and assassination, civil murders, etc. Even though all the above are clearly outside the informative and statutory mandates of the Nigerian military, each personnel can spot any of them and make an arrest and immediately hand over to the police with their preliminary findings for continuation of detailed investigation and prosecution otherwise. It is also knowledgeably informed that the power of arrest in Nigeria's status, status is given to every lawful citizen of Nigeria, whether civilian or law enforcement officer, and the city is deeply shocked and dismayed at how the military turned around to generalize all those it killed and arrested in the southeast as southeast terrorists. I've stopped quoting. That's the statement of intercity. You've seen it. They did tell everything. Look, you come and say, oh, you kill unarmed people, destroy their homes, and send them to early graves, and he said, oh, terrorist. What nonsense. You see, so this happened in 2023, and we have gone into 2024. Yes. Let this not happen again. That is what we are saying. Intercity is given this warning. Yes. It happened in 2023, and let this, you have the people they imprisoned, they have not even said about them. Their locations, they are about and everything. So you must release those people you have abducted, those who are languishing detention facilities. And of course, uh, the evil they committed in the South East in 2023 will never go unpunished. They will suffer it. The nemesis will, 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 will fall on them, definitely. Nemesis of the atrocities of the army in the South East region will never go unpunished. That's the point we're making. They will suffer it because they abducted our people, they killed them, unarmed citizens, and they tagged them terrorists. And you've seen it. So that is what inter-society is telling.